Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Nikolai Minchev, and I teach the module Social Theories of Prosperity at the IGP. So what is the aim of the module, and what do we teach in Social Theories of Prosperity? So the aim of the module, and in fact, the reason it was created in the first place, is to give students the opportunity to learn about different traditions in critical and social theory uh, and to learn about theories that inform our thinking about contemporary challenges to global prosperity. So, you know, very often when we read academic texts or listen to academic lectures, we see scholars making references to theoretical concepts that aren't um, always very clear to us. So, for example, think about terms such as affect or signifier or imagination or subjectivity. Uh, these are terms that we come across very frequently, but we're not always sure uh, what they mean in the context of academic arguments. Social theories of prosperity tries to tackle these issues directly by exploring a whole range of theoretical traditions and also by examining how these traditions are relevant for contemporary scholarship. Uh, but there is another aim that the module has, and that is to explore if and how theoretical thinking can lead uh, to real impact in the world, to explore if and how theories can uh, inform and actively contribute to positive change. Um, you know, theory and philosophy, uh, I'm sure you're all aware, are very often seen as uh, abstracted from the real world and as um, irrelevant to things such as activism or policy change or impact-oriented research. So one of the things that we're going to focus uh, on in this module is really a sort of exploration of the importance of theory for creating a more prosperous world, for creating impact towards pathways to prosperity. We are going to work together to look at how uses and applications of diverse theoretical frameworks can uh, catalyze the conversations that we need for positive change in the 21st century in the context of the, the challenges that uh, we're facing uh, today. So, okay, what can you expect if you take social theories of prosperity? Well, the first thing to say is that we will address a diverse range of topics. Each week's topic will focus on a unique theoretical framework and examine how this framework generates specific understandings and approaches to problems in the world. For example, in one topic, we are going to explore how theories of language can help us make sense of identity, how linguistic categories and names shape our most fundamental experiences of the world, including our sense of self and our relationships to other people. To give another example, we are also going to look into the themes of desire and recognition. So what do we as human beings, as human subjects desire? What is it that we are really after? And how are our desires entangled in economic, political, and social infrastructures, such as, for example, our online lives in social media and our digitally mediated relations uh, to people and to society? Or to give yet another example, we will explore the nature of affect and see how theorizing affect in particular ways. So, for example, as a relationship uh, and connection between material bodies, how can that kind of a theory help us rethink our relationship to nature and to the, nat uh, the natural uh, environment? So this is one thing, the diversity of uh, theoretical concepts and different theories uh, for thinking about prosperity. Uh, another thing that you can expect from the module is some very challenging reading and a lively discussion in class. The readings include some difficult philosophical texts from authors such as Spinoza, Hegel, Saussure, Arendt, and Foucault, among others. 
The point, however, is not to understand the text completely upon the first reading, but rather to stimulate thinking and discussion and to use the class, uh, the, the space in the class and the time that we have together to figure out uh, what the authors are arguing and how their arguments are relevant for understanding different challenges to prosperity uh, today. So if you're interested in social theory and you're up for some challenging texts and discussion about how social theory can help us create pathways to prosperity, then I would very strongly encourage you to sign up for this module and I will hopefully see you in class in the upcoming year. Thank you and hopefully see you soon.